morning you guys so it's a new day new day million things to do so i recently um i don't want to say hired but i guess that's the right word um i have someone helping me at the house because i want to remain consistent on my um, posting on youtube and other social media stuff and work and kids and all that so i do have someone who's helping me and it's so weird because i do not like it's like i don't want to not do things myself you get what i mean like i want to do things myself but realistically i am only one person i cannot do everything myself so it just takes like mental getting used to having help and i'm just reminded of this lady she not this lady and now i'm actually thinking back to this post i saw on instagram she's a stay-at-home mom and she has a nanny and so i think her post was just trying to say like people are judgmental about the fact that she's a stay-at-home mom and she has a nanny and they're saying, why do you need a nanny if you stay at home? You should be taking care of your kids and the house and this and that. And she was just explaining that having help allows her to be the best version of herself, right? And I kind of feel like I need to lean into that, you know? Like doing everything myself is going to run me down and I'm not going to accomplish. I'm not going to accomplish important things, you know what I mean? So I just have to like get over that mentality but i am i am so i have someone who comes and helps me out um, a couple days a week and that allows me to vlog focus on other things um edit you know what i mean so um yeah so yeah so i combed my hair <laughs> with all this new time i've gained i've combed my hair no but I really don't spend a lot of time on myself because I feel like there is no time for that, right? So something as simple as like combing my hair, like when I was younger, I actually used to upkeep myself, like for real. I used to have my nails done. I would have my hair done all the time. I know how to do my own hair, so there is no reason for my hair not to be done, you know? And I just kind of feel like I'm in such a mommy mode and it's like, you don't have to look like you're in mommy mode just because you are a mom. You get what I mean? So um, I'm just trying to like break bad habits. Yeah, pretty much. And I just want to tell you guys about it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So um, I have a lot of things to do today. I'm going to be making some tomatoes for the restaurant. We have a pizza burger and it has pizza sauce. So I make the pizza sauce. Um, I'm trying to eat healthy, so I'm going to be making a vegan chili with some beans, um, quinoa, lentils. So I'll be doing that today. I'm also getting rid of some wigs. I have so many wigs and I have only one head. <laughs> so I am trying to like just sell them off, you know, pretty cheap prices. So I'll post the wigs that I have that I'm trying to get rid of right now. And if you guys are interested, just you can DM me or email me about the wigs. Yeah. And let me know i'll ship them from here shipping isn't expensive actually from here so um yeah let me know and um i also have to go to the fabric store um i wore this top in my birth story video and um a few people wanted to purchase it so i just have to make sure that um, the manufacturer still has the material in the exact colors that i got because they change them out every time so i need to like go there and look them in the eye and talk to them that's how you have to get things done around here yeah okay so that is pretty much my list i mean the list is going to get bigger of course but for now for today that's what i think i'm going to um focus on oh my god productivity okay so let me call you guys later on okay i love you bye So I just got my uh, tomato. So this is ten dollars worth of tomatoes. Does that look like ten dollars worth to you guys? I think it's okay. So ten dollars tomatoes. This is two dollars um, bananas. 
Oh, these are big bananas too. Wow, these are actually so big. I wonder if they're foreign bananas. So these are the bananas, two dollars worth. So these are the bananas, two bucks. Oh my gosh, they're actually heavy. I got the lettuce that I hate. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to make some salads. I wanna put them in some water because they're a little bit wilted. Put them in some water and put them in a container with some tissue paper to keep them kind of crispy. And what else did I get? Oh, I guess that's all. Hmm. Right, so with the bananas, I might make banana bread using the oatmeal flour. Or um, I might do a carrot banana oatmeal cake. I just like to have things that I can just pop in my mouth. I don't want to always turn on the stove or cook something. And it's good for Naomi and Jordan as well. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Yeah. Oh, carrots. That's what I got. I said I knew there was something else. So these are the carrots. They're local carrots. Yeah, whatever that means. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know if it's a species or something. Because they have local, then they have foreign, right? So. I just went with the local today, so I just got to scrub them off, peel them, and uh, and use them. I want to put them in my um in my chili, actually. Yeah. I also want to say, I did drop this camera. I dropped this camera, and so I actually cannot see myself because it has a screen that flips out, and I can't see myself because the um, screen is this not working anymore since i dropped it so i can't see what i'm doing okay so i just want to say that <laughs> so i don't know what i'm filming i'm just filming by faith right now so um i just want to say that okay bye something it's so annoying so um basically i've been mentioning that someone is going to come from toronto to ghana to like bring me stuff and stuff like that but i was kind of keeping it a secret and a surprise because the person was my dad my dad was supposed to be coming to ghana so um he's not he's not coming anymore so let me tell you why and how you know this has all been like going for the past couple months so um maybe like five months ago or four months ago my dad had a heart attack and he died so he said he was feeling some pain in his chest when he was like out doing some carpent carpentry type work in um this place called kingston city and um he said he just felt weird and he has high blood pressure as well so he just thought maybe it could be that so he decided to go to the hospital and he had a heart attack in the waiting room and he completely like died he was flatlined like they brought him back to life like on tv with the clear you know so he was dead <laughs> so um so basically he had some blood clots and they clotted his heart i guess that's how heart attacks work and yeah he had a heart attack so luckily the city that he was in it was like um it's a small town type of city so the hospital just wasn't that busy that particular day or whatever i don't know so it was just like god's blessing that he was in the hospital at the moment he had the heart attack so you know we thank god and all that so 
they put some stints in his arteries to open them so that the blood clots could pass um they removed some clots i think or something like that i honestly don't even know how to describe exactly what they did exactly but so um they put the stints in and he was able to go home under observation and everything like that so we were already talking about him coming to ghana so after i had the baby i'm like okay you know how are you feeling and he's like i feel so much better da, 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 da. so i was like okay let's you know book an appointment book a flight for you to come to ghana so he was like okay let me go to the doctors and just make sure everything's okay i was like okay so he goes to the doctors um they find more clogged arteries right so he's like well it's a good thing that we were gonna book the flight actually i booked the flight so he's like it's a good thing that we booked it because if i didn't book the flight i wasn't actually going to double check that everything was okay so he only double checked because he was going to travel so it was a good thing and now they find some more blood clots and this is like one month ago so this is like last month so right now it's november so let's just say like um september you know so they find more blood clots they put another stint in or something like that and then they say you can't travel for the next six weeks so i was like okay so now that we found more stuff again there can't be anything else right so I book his ticket again to come for next week, November 8th, which is like six, seven weeks out from his last appointment where he did like the um, surgery or whatever. So he's feeling good. His blood is pumping. He's not tired. Like he feels like, you know, so again, he goes to check to see if there's anything else. Boom, more blood clots in his, in his like artery. So they have to put more stints in his artery. It's just so crazy so um long story short i'm super bummed because he was supposed to come and now he's definitely not so i'm really bummed i'm bummed because i was looking forward for him coming not only that i mean yeah i miss him and everything but he does have a lot of stuff that he was supposed to bring for me to make my life better but um yeah so um yeah so he's gonna be not coming so that's just annoying so i have to like uh, live my life <laughs> yeah so i just want to like tell you guys about that basically yeah <gasps> hi beautiful handsome boy yes oh my goodness you were just laughing five minutes ago and now you don't remember mama huh cutie huh cutie in your little outfit you're so cute mama so cute so it is a new day and I've had time to think about my, the fact that my dad ain't coming and, you know, I'm getting over it, you know, so it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I was so bummed yesterday. Very bummed, you know, like we had plans. We were going to do stuff, you know. So um, now I gotta do that stuff by myself. I mean, I could always do by myself, don't get me wrong, but you know, it was gonna be a little adventure, exposing him to Africa and everything like that. But it's okay, it's fine, no, <laughs> really, it is. Anyhow, I, I'm on my way out because I need a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna be going to the grocery store. I, I wanna say my favorite store, but it's like the only store. So I'm gonna be going to Malcolm to just get stuff for my house. I just need a bunch of stuff, just stuff to make life easier around here. Yeah, so I'll be going there. And then when I get back, I think I need to like organize my closet. I have a really big closet and I haven't yet fully utilized its potential. So I think I'm gonna do that when I get back, pretty much, yeah. So um, I'm gonna call my car and we'll chat more when I get in there, okay? Love you, bye. Say bye, bye, bye. Say bye bye. Okay. Okay, so we are here. Now, the first thing I want to get is some quinoa. I'm almost tempted by all these nuts. But uh, let me see if I can find the quinoa. Okay, here it is. I'm home. I'm home, I'm at the computer. So, 
I just got me a few things. I got me a few things. So this here bag of quinoa was 57 CDs, about $5. I think this was eight bucks. I have a bunch of Tupperware. Um, these are five, four, four bucks, about $4. I got me a basket so I can stay organized. Um, what else? Sponges. Got some vinegar. Got some some glass right here. Um, yeah, I didn't get anything crazy. Nothing major. So um, I think I'm gonna head to my closet. I told you guys it's a mess and I need to use it. As a matter of fact, let's go there right now. Let me show you, let me show you what I'm working with. I want to sort it out. I don't like, it just feels overwhelming because it's like when you start a big project, you just feel like you want to finish it all. And just the thought of like starting and not finishing, you don't even want to start, but you have to. Even if you don't finish, it's better to start it and go as far as you can and try to finish another day. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to put this stuff away and, um, you know, make it cute a little bit. I can't, though, because I forgot hangers. I don't have enough hangers for everything because where I was living before, it was so small that I ended up putting away a lot of my going out clothes. And I was pregnant, too, right? So I didn't hang up a lot of my going out clothes. Just a few things I hung up. But now that I have a ton of closet space, I need more hangers so i'm gonna actually have to buy some hangers before i can really start this project yes i don't have to start it today <laughs> hi so remember i told you guys these wigs gotta go so somebody wants this curly one i'm gonna miss you curly this is like so much hair so of course before i ship it off excuse me Before I ship it off, I gotta detangle, wash, and just make it look cute again, you know what I mean? I mean? This is actually a really, really, really beautiful wig. This one I sold for 300 Canadian bucks. I think normally on the website, like this length and volume, maybe it's like five, four, 400 something US probably yeah so there's a lot more where that came from i have a few straight ones as well but i really think i'm selling them for a super reasonable price you know what i mean but i'm definitely going to be in the shower all day with this wig i'm just trying to take my time because i am not trying to rip out all this hair out of the wig yeah so i'm gonna work i'm gonna work on this y'all i'm gonna work on this but it's not doing so bad, like considering it's just been in a drawer forever. Like, it's not that terrible to get through, like right now at all, actually. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, actually. It is so hard parting with your wigs, but it's like they've been sitting in the drawer for all this time. Like, you're not using them. Just get rid of them. Just beat it. So let me be right back with a big transformation. Oh, it's good on my own, that's the way it was. It's the way it was. You're good on my own, it's the love. It's the love. Girl, what the hell you complain for? Being a kid, huh? You should trip all that shit, I'm speaking to you. Ask for all the run, though I'll give it to you. But pay me, don't get into this. You were just another chick on the hill, it's trying to fix it in the issue, trying to match. Please say, tell me, I'm savage. Why not say, carriage? Okay, week number two, you guys. Oh, so um, I have a beautiful <laughs> wig head. Do you think I should make her black? I know. I don't know, like, 
it's a white, it's a white girl today. So um, this is another wig that I have. Maybe it's like 20, ooh, it was about 20 inches, 22 inches, something like that. So I'm gonna curl it up. So whoever wants it, you'll have a nice, beautiful wig. Um, it's already washed and everything like that. So I left it to dry. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me clean her up and call you guys back when she's all ready to go, okay? Hey y'all! So I'm done. I just did, like, I just curled her. I don't think I want to, um... So guys, um... She looks ugly right now because... Okay, maybe I'll come around for you guys. So you can be believers. She's beautiful, guys. product in, no hairspray or anything like that. Yeah, I think this is like 22 inches or something. Yeah. So, um, let me know if you want her. It's going to be like real cheap. Alright? Okay, so let me know, guys. I think I'm even done for the day. This is the end of the vlog. I'm so tired from doing those two wigs. Oh, gosh. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, if anything. Um, I have no idea what I need to do. Like I get to these points where, I'm like what am I even, what am I doing? What am I doing? And then I remember what I'm doing. Anyway, so let's take this up tomorrow. Let's reconvene. It's the weekend actually. So maybe I'll see you like on Sunday or Monday. I'm sure there's gonna be something going on this weekend. So I want to see you guys very soon, okay? Yeah, I love you. Come, Bop Bop. Come here, say bye to everyone. Bop Bop. Look. Look. You want to say bye, Bop Bop? You want to say bye, bye, bye? bye? Say bye. Say bye, Bop Bop. Say bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, he just woke up, so.